Hi, how you doing today? Um, <clears throat> my name's Joe, and I run a website, theoutboardguy.com. And there's been a lot of discussion on the internet about turning a 9.9 .9 into a 15 horsepower uh, or more. So what we've decided to do is tackle that project here. So for this, uh, this started out life is a 1990, a 1983 9.9, .9, and we added the 15 horsepower carburetor. We added bows and reeds. We blueprinted the block, rebuilt the block entirely, new rings, everything in there, um, and then we changed over the exhaust tube to the tuned exhaust tube. Now, from our research, we found that in this year, and each year is a little different. Well, there's kind of like, you know, um, sets of years. So there'll be four or five years will be the same. But during this uh, generation, they didn't, they never used the tuned exhaust. So they just got their 15 horsepower from uh, the carburetor. So by adding the reeds, blueprinting the block, and adding the tuned exhaust, we're hoping to get 18 horsepower more out of this. So we've documented the story a little bit, and um, next I'll show you some footage of preparing for it. And uh, eventually we are going to dyno test it so we can find out for sure. Thank you. Uh, so we're interested in seeing if we can get more out of it. So uh, we bought these bosun reeds here. It was uh, about $30 including shipping. Uh, they came like the next day, which was awesome. And then we got this uh, tuned exhaust here. The one that comes with it is like a square one, and this is supposed to be tuned and uh, give better performance. We're going to cut it down. It's from a long shaft. So, uh, so here we have uh, two different kinds of exhaust. Uh, this is the the old 9.9 uh, .9 exhaust. Okay, as you can see, it's it has a relief right here, and uh, you can see, see that edge in there. Any kind of, anytime you get edges and it's like from, less than from the, where they cast it, I don't think you can see it's kind of rough in there. Um, <clears throat> with the two stroke, the sound waves like bounce back and forth, and a tuned exhaust will shoot the sound waves right back into combustion chamber right as it's closing in, which compresses the air and makes it run better. Uh, in an RC car, you would refer to this as to uh, getting it on the pipe. So basically, uh, there's like roughness in here. We're gonna have to get all that out. There's all this from the casting all these like, you know Edges and stuff you want the air to just flow smoothly and the sound to be able to not get interrupted So we're gonna take off that little edge in there We're gonna polish this all up and if you look at this this guy here He goes over the whole area here. This is the old one. He goes over the whole area So they're not really playing with the sound now the tuned pipe Okay, that has exactly if you look the same size and shape as this right here and it doesn't have the side thing like this guy has for relieving it. So instead it has a relief right here. This one does not have any reliefs in the sides of it. Some other ones do from other years. This one doesn't. Another notable difference here in the exhaust is the length of the exhaust. If you see this exhaust here is slightly shorter. Okay. It's slightly shorter. All right, now the reason for that is the old exhaust seals up perfectly against that. The newer exhaust doesn't seal up against that. It gives it a little bit of a space, and that's to relieve, I think, I don't know this part for sure, but I think that's to relieve uh, for like back pressure, the differences in back pressure between the two motors. We we're trying to go over 15 horsepower with this. So. This is what the, uh, the pistons look like stock. You can see there's um, some casting marks across the top there. Then this is what they look like after we're done preparing them. Well, that needs to be sanded again, but this is, you know, the bulk of the stuff's been taken off here. Um, and we'll just go over and sand that. And, uh, but it's just been smoothed out. Nothing's crazy. So then, uh, same thing in the intake here take out any any kind of casting marks or rough edges here and then uh, for this we clean this up op open this up and uh, we could knife edge this this is sharp instead of being um, so uh, took as much out of there as we could and then coming in here uh, smoothed all this took the casting marks out of this smooth that all out so all this uh, 
what all this is designed to do, and up in here, we took smooth that all out. Uh, don't pay attention to this motor. That's not part of it. Uh, all this, all this was is to make the air flow and get rid of turbulence and just make it blow through the engine nice and smooth. Uh, okay, so um, I'm working on these pistons here. So this is this is the stock piston. As you can see, it has uh, like a seam in it, a casting seam in it. So. <clears throat> what I'm doing is just uh, just getting rid of that, smoothing it out, making it nice and smooth so it doesn't cause turbulence when the air goes across there. Trying not to take out uh, uh, as little metal as, as humanly possible because the more metal you take out of here, that's going to in turn uh, lower the compression. Okay, so this is the, uh, the block we're working on. Going to make a, uh, see how much horsepower we can get out of a 9.9. .9. So... Um, Don went through and he smoothed out everything here with a rotary tool and we'll come back in and polish it off a little more get in there with some diamond files just make sure that we get uh, <clears throat> like all the edges taken off of here so this is nice and smooth there was uh, burrs on all these and, and we just smoothed out all inside of there and in there you can see getting rid of all the, the rough edges and then we'll go over it with uh, you know like finer sandpaper and stuff same thing in here just cut in there and got the edges done. It's just going to help the air flow through. Next step will be to polish it up uh, and then clean it up. It's uh, engine block back together here. Uh, you can see this is uh, this is how the pistons look. They are uh, got, got rid of the stuff on them. Didn't do too crazy though because you don't want to uh, lower the compression. We talked about that. Uh, we're not done cleaning this surface yet here. Um, but what we have is uh, just got our stuff laid out. We're not going to use any gasket sealer on the head gasket or this gasket here. Um, I think the only place to use sealer is in the middle here. Uh, so of course we're going to torque this head on to uh, to specifications. It's well, that was easier. second part we're going to be testing it at the lake in the third part we're going to dyno test it to find out how many horsepower we really got but we got to run around the lake a little bit to break in the new rings if you'd like to see some more details about each of the steps i took check out my other videos this is kind of an abridged version of it so it didn't take forever so i posted more in-depth videos on my check out the and check out LMC Joe on eBay, and check out the Apple guy on Facebook. Thank you.